and welcome to Believe. Thank you so much for joining us here. We are a conscious media company on our voyage here to bring you guys amazing stories um, revolving around money and business, health and wellness, true success, our universe, and world news. You can check us out at believe.love or on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. I'm Vanessa, and today we have a great guest for you guys today. His name is Mark Mawinney, and he is a lifelong entrepreneur and life coach. He's actually been referred to as the coach for coaches. He has um, successful coaching programs like 10 Clients in 90 Days and the Group Gold Program, as well as your first five clients. And he has a very successful podcast, National Born Coaches, which actually hit iTunes' new and noteworthy category in just its first week on air. And it has actually exceeded the average downloads of new podcasts as well. <clears throat> He's also hosting um, a Facebook group, The College Jungle, and a newsletter, The Secret Coach Club. We're going to get into all of that fun stuff here. I wanted to bring uh, Mark on now. Hello, Mark. And thank you hey. so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. It's, it's actually the coaching jungle. Um, the coaching I'm not jungle. A, I'm not a huge fan of post-secondary education, so the college jungle, I'm probably not the best person to, to uh, host that. Uh -huh. But yeah, the, the coaching jungle. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, the Facebook group, right? That's what it is. Yes, the that's jungle. right. And awesome. I have to apologize, as I mentioned to you before we started, I'm doing this interview. I'm on the road. I didn't make it back <laughs> home in time, as I thought, so... You'll have to, everyone will have to forgive my informal uh, setting here. You're going to see cars driving by and, you know, parking lot and hopefully nobody honking and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, we're keeping it real today. Absolutely. Keeping it real. <laughs> I like mm -hmm. it, Mark. All right. So let's get right into it here. I wanted to talk to you about your past life a bit, if you will, or at least that's how I believe you described it. Um, how would you describe your transition out of real estate and into what it is that you do right now? In a word, messy. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're, that's all about keeping it real. We're doing the interview from a car and, and we'll keep it real. Yes. Um, you know, it wasn't, uh, it, now I say it was messy, but it actually worked out for the best. So there's a happy ending to it. But I, I uh, built up a real estate business through about a decade of busting my butt through my 20s. And did really well and, and build up to be one of the top agents in my marketplace. And I had a team of 100 agents and employees and everything was going very well until 2009. And anyone who knows what happened in 2008 in the United States can probably guess where this story's going. I'm in Canada <laughs> and it took a little while to come up to our neck of the woods. But they say in Canada, if the, United, if the U.S. Sneezes, we catch a cold, oh, and, uh, and and we caught a flu <laughs> really oh, bad. Wow. So I picked a, a bad time to uh, to go undergo massive expansion. August of '09, everything uh, collapsed, and you know I ended up going through a couple of years in the wilderness where I went through not that one, but two, but no, so not one, but two business closures oh, in real goodness. estate in, in in about four years. And I finally said, you know what, uh, I'm getting a signal somewhere from the universe or whatever that it's time to move on. I'm not having fun. And, and I had a period of time there where I needed help. And I went to uh, several coaches and mentors who were very important in my journey. And they helped me with my comeback. And uh, they fixed a lot of the internal stuff, which coaches are great at doing. And uh, I decided, hey, you know what? When I'm ready to get back into business, this was beginning of 2014. I said, I'd love to be a coach. And that's how it happened in a nutshell. And here I am in my fourth year and having a lot of fun with it. Wow. Yeah, that, that is a pretty cool story. Yeah, it's a go up and down, all the dynamics, back and forth. Um, so yeah, that's life of an entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> life of an entrepreneur. <laughs> so true. So you say that's what got your, you interested in coaching. You actually um, stepped out and kind of took advice from other life coaches, right? Yeah, well, te technically I'm not a life coach. I'm a business coach. A business uh, so coach. yeah, not to knock life coaches, but <laughs> um yeah, that that was it. Uh, I saw the power of coaching firsthand because I don't know where I'd be today without coaching. So it's funny because for years when I was in real estate, I was approached by coaches asking they wanted me to hire them. And back then, you know, cocky, arrogant, 20 something year old Mark said, you know, well, why would I need a coach? You know, look at how well I'm doing and, you know, give me a break. I don't need a coach. And then everything went, you know, belly up. And I thought, you know what, if I had a coach in around that time, things would have 
probably been different. You know, uh, it, it would have helped to have someone in my corner like that. So I was humbled, but I've also seen how important it is to have a coach who's in your corner, who believes in you. And uh, coaching is very powerful. It's hard to put into words because people are used to things that they could put into a nice, neat box with a bow on it and they can, you know, explain it. And uh, with coaching, you can. It's mm -hmm. not something that you can reach out and touch and feel or it's not really like a service or something like uh, in I know it's a service but it's not like a lot of other services where it's easy to grasp and that's what makes it difficult for coaches but it's extremely powerful and it's probably the best job in the world wow that's that's awesome I was actually gonna ask you what would you say to someone that may be a little hesitant about getting a life coach or asking for help like maybe you uh, or other people um, at a younger age entrepreneurs right we think we, uh, we know what we're doing all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, a good coach is going to pay back your investment many times over, probably at least five times over. So every dollar you spend in a good coach, you're making at least five dollars back. Although I would say that some coaches are much more than that. Mm -hmm. So the unfortunate thing with the coaching world is there's also a lot of bad coaches out there because the bar is set quite low. Anyone can roll out of bed today and say, hey, I'm a coach. You know, and they get some business cards printed up at Kinko's and, you know, they're off to the races. So you have to be careful. You have to check out the person that you're hiring to make sure that they're good. But you want to talk to friends and you want to get referrals and, and uh, so on. But uh, anyone who's hesitating, I would say, you know what, you you. I know that people think, oh, yeah, right. He's a coach. That's why he's saying this. But uh, I guarantee you coaching is very powerful and it will shorten your learning curve substantially. So anytime I've had a coach in my life, I usually have one, two coaches, you know, for various things. Right now I've got a book writing coach. I've had webinar coaches and everything else. Anytime you hire a coach, it will shorten the learning curve and it will reduce your stress tenfold. So um, don't rule it out. Give it a try. You won't regret it.